Good evening. Welcome back. I'm Doris Hall James from The Indie Show. It's a new week and we have a new guest for you. This evening, The Indie Show brings to you no other than Marcy Francis. Hi, Marcy. Well, good How evening. Are you? I'm good fine. To see you. Just good so to wonderful see to be here. And it's wonderful to have you here. And I love those colors. Oh, thank I you. I love those colors. Thank you. I live with colors. Yes. How have you been? Just wonderful. You're doing good? Just wonderful. Just singing, playing, drumming, singing to the children, singing everywhere I am, sending love. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, uh, Facebook, Marcy Francis, we started the show, the indie show, in July of 18. And Marcy was the second guest that we invited to the show. So now <laughs> we've done like maybe 45 interviews and <laughs> we're just getting Marcy. Finally. <laughs> but it's better late than never, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's let's talk about your musical journey. Okay? Yes. So what what drew you into the music industry? <coughs> let's start there. Well what drew me into the music industry was my father. My father would take me to the live shows. Like one of the shows he would take me to, like I would go to the Uptown. And um, meeting the entertainers because his friends were a part of the band, of the Doc Bagby band at the Uptown. Oh, yeah. And that's how I stayed backstage and met a lot of the people there. Mm -hmm. And as the years had gone by, I became a groupie. And I started, <laughs> um, yes, and then I became, I started running, doing errands. Of the stars such as uh, Red Fox, Tina Turner, uh, Moms Mabley, Etta James, and then I became very close friends with um, James Brown. And out of that, I became a chaperone with Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five, and um, and also the Emotion. And how I got that job, along with Diane Brown, my friend, I was friends with the Staple Singers. Purvis Staples had called and said, "Listen." There's going to be some young children going to be performing at the Uptown, and I'd like for you all to look out for him. Mm -hmm. So that's how I had my very good chance in meeting Michael Jackson and putting makeup on his little nose at the time. Yeah. So it was it was right. awesome. It was awesome back in the day, and that's my my really, really, really life is music. Okay. Thanks to my dad. And, and, and was it someone out of all the people that you met back then, or? Was it someone that inspired you? Well, I'm going to tell you who really inspired me was James Brown. But before yeah. that, I used to be a telephone. I used to have telephone friends back in the day when I was a young girl. Okay. And uh, my favorite friend was uh, Satchmo. And every time when he would come in town or in Jersey, I would talk to him. And uh, I'm talking about Louis Armstrong. Okay. And then Sarah Vaughn became a good telephone friend of mine. And Dorothy Dandridge. So each time they would be performing somewhere near in the area of New York or wherever, they would be in touch with me. So that was my encouragement, especially uh, Dorothy Dandridge with Carmen Jones, the movie Carmen Jones. James Brown was my great, great, great encouragement of music. And I have pictures right now because before, um, when he first came and he was sleeping on somebody's couch and he wants some, <laughs> some food and I stole a piece of chicken out my mom's uh, bowl and gave it to James Brown for him something to eat and my mother and he called and she says what are you doing how old are you calling my daughter you know she's just a teenager I know Miss Francis but uh, she's just a good friend of mine <laughs> so um, James Brown have good pictures with James Brown okay. and I yes okay yes well uh, Marcy now how did you get the the name Ladyfinger where did that come from? Well, Lady Fingers, when I started playing the bass, mm -hmm. I did a lot of fingering action on the bass and slapping it and all that because I just played by ear. And um, I just, they said I needed a stage name, so I just said, how about Lady Fingers? And then they said, Miss Lady Fingers of Soul. So that's how Miss Lady Fingers of Soul is out now, where people remember me from Miss Lady Fingers of Soul, playing bass, bending backwards, Shooting the soul juice, clean my legs, <laughs> yes. and shaking butt. That's what I used to do, Miss Lady Fingers. Okay. Yes. So the, the first group that you were with were who? 
The first group that I was with was with the Jonesettes. Okay. okay. The Jonesettes were three beautiful sisters. Sylvia Jones, Karen Jones, and Vivian Jones. And God rest Karen Jones. Um, she passed a couple, Karen, quite a few yes. years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and also, along with the Jonesettes, after I left the Jonesettes, mm -hmm. I had a group called uh, Miss Ladyfingers and Her Transitions. Mm -hmm. And that was, uh, the members was Lorraine Horton, Tina Woodrit, um, Charles Hanson III, which we call him Cheese, and Toby Wright. And after that group, it came into, I started playing with a group called The Odds and Ends. The Odds and Ends, uh, they recorded the song, You Know Love Makes the World Go Round. Oh, I thought Dion you know, Jackson did it. Right. But then they did it, uh, the Odds and Ends did it as well. Okay, okay. And, okay. and from that, that's when um, my highest time of performing was performing with them at the Apollo Theater. Mm -hmm. On the show with the Shy Lights and uh, Roberta Flack, Dizzy Gillespie. Mm. And um, Roberta said, the Duke is pointing his finger. He wants to talk to you. So Dizzy Gillespie said, take your bass off. I'll hold it for you. So I went over there to see who the Duke was. He, I, he had these long nails, long hair. <laughs> he slapped it, his hand on his knees. He said, sit down, young lady. Mm -hmm. I sat down. He said, so what are you going to do with that bass? I says, well, don't tell nobody. I don't know the notes of the neck. I just know how to play these people's song because they like my feel. He says, well, listen, I'm going to tell you something, because I watched you when you were doing sound check. Mm -hmm. He says, um, when you get a teacher, don't allow a teacher to, to teach you from the beginning. You have to get a teacher that teach you from where you're from and take you further, because they can mess you up, because you've been gifted. You have a special gift. Okay. So, um, so then he said, uh, Marcy Francis, uh, odds and ends, ready to hit stage. So people were saying, who, what did the Duke say? What did the Duke say? I said, well, who in the devil was the Duke? <laughs> and that's Duke Ellington. I said, what? <laughs> so that's another highlight oh. of um, good message from a, a, a top entertainer, Duke Ellington. I was really blessed with that. And okay. then, then from there. Okay, so yes. now you went in, are you at the stage where you started working with Better Days? So Better Days, Better Days came in. I met a, a brother named Oscar Strange, because okay. Oscar was playing with the Jonesettes at the time when I met Oscar. But when, um, when we left the, the Jonesettes, when they disbanded, Oscar said, we're gonna still play, babe. So we got Lorraine Horton, mm -hmm. Tina Woodred, and Lois Harbin. And that's where Better Days started. And then from there, um, I'm trying to make this short, long, this story short. No, no, we have Don't, time. We have time? We have time. Go ahead. Okay. okay. So with Oscar and I, we were playing, and we got, uh, he was teaching me really, really some profound techniques on my bass. So from that, we've decided to let's get out of town. Let's leave Philly. I met a man at this bar. His name was Moses. Mm -hmm. And he says, I'd like to take y'all to Florida, to my hometown. And I was just saying, in the wintertime is coming, I would love to go to a warm climate. And incidentally, I do a lot of praying and a lot of affirmations. And that's what I've always done. That's how I do my music. That's how I've learned my music, by meditating and, and praying for a vision. So from there, we moved to Florida. And we met his nephew, Charlie, and he said, you all can stay at my house. I just had my house built. But we have no furniture. <laughs> I said, well, we could sleep okay. on the floor. Okay. So that's what we did. And the, it was warm, car you know, thick carpet. Mm -hmm. And uh, each one of us took turns to, um, to cook. Mm -hmm. It was just wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Lois Harvin, Lorraine Horton, and Oscar and Jan Jeffries. And that's when we had a wonderful time in creating a Better Days. From there, Oscar was saying, I am going to read the Bible from cover to cover for my direction. Mm -hmm. When he read the last page, he says, it's telling me to go to church. So Oscar went into the gospel. And uh, when we came home, that's when we started with the Better Days and the All Girls Band. And we met, um, we met Bernetta Sisko and Cheryl Porter. 
And that's okay. when we really put it together with Jan Jeffries and Lorraine Horton. And um, Better Days, the all-girls band. And are you still in contact with them? Yes, we're all in contact. Matter of fact, us Better Days, we did a reunion, Jan Jeffries, mm -hmm. Lorraine Horton, and Tina Woodred. Mm -hmm. And then we added uh, Valerie, Stitt, Valerie Ford along with Vincent Stiff to do the show along with us. And that was awesome. We did it at the Clef Club in May of last year. And how did that turn it, out? It Who's turned there? out really great, really great. And it was just, uh, it, it, it lets me know, I just turned 75 and I still have the juice to get back out here and play this bass. Yeah, you, yes. you, have you ever been on tour? Uh, on tour, Better mm -hmm. Days, we were the first all-girls black band to represent America doing USO shows and Army of Defense, okay. working for the government. And the first place they sent us was to Europe, to Germany. Um, we've been to Iceland, Reykjavik, Keflavik, the whole side of Europe. And then when you're working for the government, you get evaluated. We got high evaluations in the different countries. Then the Mediterranean oh. called us. We went to Italy, Sicily, Greece, and I can go on Turkey. We've gone to a lot of places. We would do like 30-day uh, runs. Then from there, we went to the Caribbean. And when I went to the Caribbean, I met my father's people in Antigua, and that was awesome. Went to Puerto Rico, Cuba, been to many places. Then we had a call from, we had a call from the North Pole. I said, oh no, it's too cold to be going up there. But we've decided to go to the Thule Greenland in North Pole. That was the most highest spiritual energy, energetic relationship I've had with the Creator, is being at the top of the world, praying and meditating at the highest mountain of the world. And, and incidentally, that's where they park the satellites, and that's where they okay. tell, can tell about the weather as well. Okay. So, and also, even got a... Uh, what, you, what should I say? I even got an Eskimo kiss. They really do kiss by the nose. It was awesome. And the Danish and the food is just awesome. Us girls, we had a wonderful time in the North Pole. Well, out of all the places that you travel, can you tell me which one you like the best? The North Pole. The North Pole, and that's real cold. It's real cold, and I've seen mm. 24 hours night, 24 hours day, mm -hmm. 6 hours uh of day, half day and half night, and seeing the Borealis, seeing the full moon where you can just reach up and touch it. It is um, really, the energy there, even though the cold, mm -hmm. but you're so warm because the people, the Danish and all the soldiers was just so warm. And mm -hmm. that's where um, the Air Force is parked, up in the North Pole. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was one of my favorite places. And with this weather the way it is today, that's a piece of cake to, to me, to Jan and I, because Jan Jeffries and I, we work together still. You still work we still Jan? work together. Uh, we work with children. Okay. Yes. Well, um, and Marcy, before, when we were talking, like earlier during the week, you stated that you want to go on tour. You still want to go on tour. I still want to. I decided, yes, Let's I do want to go on tour. Let's talk about that a minute. I would like to go on tour, mm -hmm. and I pray to attract the conscious-minded musicians mm -hmm. that play from their heart, not just from the head, but from their heart, so we can touch the people in their, to their hearts mm -hmm. with the music that we play. Because everywhere that I go, I make people happy. Okay. They get a good feeling because I'm in touch with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Can you feel me? I can feel you. Thank you. And, um, you know, when you go, I only been, well, I've been to Europe once. I traveled to Europe once. Yes. And it was, like, I think it was about 30 days, and it was really fun. It's something new and different for me. It's really fun. But if we didn't have uh, a great, dependable band with their hearts in the music, we would have been lost. Yes. You know, but the band worked very hard. And um, the group Slick, we did too. Oh, yes. And it turned out that we had a really nice time over there. Yes. And um, when we came back to the United States, we knew we were back because 
the people were totally different here than there. Yes, they yeah. are. So I can understand you wanting to go on tour and get uh, good quality musicians, dependable yes. musicians, to go with you so that you can, can have a successful trip. Yes, but I have to say this. I have to back up. Uh -huh. The islands are my, my favorite place. Okay. I've and um, too, I go yeah. to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I do healing retreats, restoring retreats in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And the place is called East of Eden in Montego Bay, working with uh, Gina uh, McKenzie at her beautiful place. Mm -hmm. And I've been going there since the early 90s, I think. Mm -hmm. 2000, yes. So that's the other part of the world that I'd like to go back to and bring my friends there to um, rejuvenate. That's what I do, is rejuvenate over in those islands. Show you how to take care of yourself, spiritually, mentally, and how to eat good food. Okay. Yes. Well, um, as I was talking to you, uh, how, how did how did Joe Frazier, how did he boost your career? Oh, Joe Frazier. Uh -huh. Joe Frazier was a very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And we were very close friends before I started playing bass. And uh, then he became the champion, and I started teaching myself how to play bass. And, you know, as you can see, I got the group together. So mm -hmm. I was working at this bar called yeah. The Big Dollar, Big Dollar, 23rd in Oxford in North Philly. I think it's 25th okay. in Oxford. Mm -hmm. And um, he came in. He came over to the stage where I was thumping on the bass, shaking butt and everything. <laughs> and he said, Marcy? Marcy, is that you? I said, yes, baby. Yeah. So when I went on my break, he came in the dressing room. He said, girl, I don't know. I, I can't believe that's you. Just tell me anything you want. What? Just name it. What do you need? Uh -huh. I said, I need a place to rehearse. I want to get my group tight, like concert style. He said, come to my gym Monday morning. I went to the gym Monday morning. He says, come on upstairs. I'm going to show you, because he had a band also. He says, I'm going to show you what I have. He had a whole stage set up, amplifiers, drums, everything, wow. sound system, and lights. He had a light man, a sound man. Didn't he sing at one point? Yeah, he, he was Joe Frazier in the Knockouts. OK. <laughs> And that's where I met him, you know, at the show, Joe okay. Frazier and Knockouts. I used to be one of his groupies, right? So um, from there, he says, but you have to do your group in a business-like way. I says, my girls are in a business-like way. Just got them there. You know, we're family. We pray together. We do affirmations together. We fast on Wednesdays, and I do the visualizations. So he met the girls. He heard the band. We had to set a time. Each week, I think, I can't remember, I think we rehearsed like three, four, five times a week, mm -hmm. every week. And then when we did our gigs, his son, Hector Frazier, and his nephew would come, I would call them after our gigs, like two, three in the morning, they would be at the dock to bring our instruments to load oh. in. So he was a great, a great instrument to me with Better Days. And also we had a manager, Glenda Gracia, so what she did, she got in touch with M. Tumay in New York because mm -hmm. I needed somebody to show us how to lock this band together. Mm -hmm. He would come in. She would pick him up from 30th Street train station, and um, he would come and help the, the drum and the bass to lock us together and put us all together. Mm -hmm. And we say, well, what is your charge? He says, only thing I want from you girls is a vanilla milkshake. Mm -hmm. That was his charge. We take him back to um, to the train station, and that was awesome. So he was a great instrument, also, and also um, I know Glenda had brought in some of the Funkadelics came with us. Mm -hmm. Captain Sky came with. Us. We had quite a few. Oh, you met so many. Yeah, people. we met a lot of people like um, Alfonso Curry, which is was a very close friend of mine, which we call Porky. Mm -hmm. um, John Hart was a great bass player friend of mine. Um, uh, Wayne Morris. Uh, Jimmy Grant was my first uh, bass player instructor back in the day. So these uh, bass players that really helped me was John Hart and Porky, which he's still playing with Gypsy Lane. Mm -hmm. And um, I've just been blessed by being in touch with some really good musicians. That's why I have been away from uh, doing this music, because I'm back in doing um, New Thought music, inspirational songs and music. So I'm ready to take it on the road yes, yes. for the people to really right. get in touch with themselves. And I love showing how you can love yourself.
through your words, actions, and your deeds. Through music. Through music, right? Yes. It can make you laugh. It can make you cry. Yes. It, oh, man. Make you dance. Make you, oh, yeah. Jump make up and down. Mm -hmm. And put all the old stuff behind you. Release and yeah. let go and let love guide you. Mm -hmm. Well, are you planning to um, record a, a new CD? Yes, I'm in the process of a, a new CD. Mm -hmm. And um, working along with Miss Valerie Sims. Valerie Ford, and uh, yes, some good music that's coming out right now through us. Okay. Yes. And Valerie Ford was just here, uh, Facebook fans, uh, but she left for a minute. She may get back, but if Valerie doesn't get back on Marcy's interview today, she will be our uh, guest on the indie show uh, March 21st. Yes. So you can tune in yes. and hear Valerie's story. Let's say hi to our Facebook family. We have quite a few here, so let's say hi. Let's see if I can get them all. Oh, okay. John Hall. Okay, hi, John. John. How are you? Matt Green. Hello, Matt. Thanks for joining in. Hi, uh, cousin Jessica. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for joining in, Jess. Okay, Carol Same Fleming. Oh, okay. Sashmi, that's Sashmi my god sister. Fleming. Okay. And Carol says to you, hi, Miss Lady Fingers. Hi, my sweetheart. That's my god sister. <laughs> okay. And we have Stephen Lancaster. Stephen Lancaster. My cousin. Hi, cousin Marcy. Uh, and then we have, um, Jess said she lost the sound. Is it okay now, Gilbert? You can't hear me. It's either. running now, but. Okay. Okay. Natasha Timbers. She said hello. She joined in. Um, then we have Patricia. Hi, Denise. I'm not getting any sound. I hope you're getting it now. I hope you're getting it now. Um, Spuddy, how are you doing? Is today your birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> I think today's his birthday or it was yesterday. Um, and then we have, I'm trying to pronounce this, Baguma Apu. Let me see. Uh, and he said, or she said she thought she was the only one not oh, getting sound. Fabumi? Is it yes. say Fabumi? Okay, that Fabumi. is my partner, my Shaker Ray designer. Okay. We play right. Shaker Ray together. Okay. Yes. And then uh, we have Aunt M, Marcy, and Miss Doris James, Ella Francie, Francis. Uh, and then we have. That's, that's Denise. That's is my that Denise? niece. Yes. That's what Denise. What is Denise calling herself? That's her. Uh, Hi, Denise. Hi, How Denise. Are you? <laughs> That's my everything girl. She's she writes a everything for person. me. Isn't yes. She wonderful? Yes. Thanks for all you do, Denise. Thank you for keeping me in order, Denise. <laughs> okay, and then we have Rhonda Lancaster. My Hi, keyboard Rhonda. player, Rhonda Lancaster. No, is she your keyboard player? I've been trying to get. I have Rhonda heard. Lancaster for this show for a long time. She is busy. I call I know her she my is, boss. She is always busy. She used to play for me in church at Center of Peace, she but is she's busy. Always busy. Hi Thomas. Thomas Clark joined. Hi Douglas Payne. He Douglas joined. Sandy Sykes, my sister, she joined. Hi Terry. Terry Grant has joined in. And we have Latrina Flores. Hi Gilbert Trina. Sister. Um, Derek Rush, hi Derek, and then we go back, uh, Douglas Payne said something about, wait, let me see, let me get this right, Trina said, hey y'all, hey. and Jessica yeah. says, wow, awesome, and Douglas Payne says, Charlie Brown of the Coasters was drummer for Joe Frazier's band. <laughs> wow, awesome. <laughs> yes, Patricia Wardraw. Uh, join um, Wardlaw. Wardlaw. Mm -hmm. Join Sandy Sykes, guitar player. I don't know what she means by that because Sandy's not a guitar player. Well, I was okay. going to say, come play with me. <laughs> Douglas, hello, ladies. Kevin Moore joined. Um, Janice Francis said, Hi, Auntie. Is Janice related to you? Yes, that's my niece, my really? sweet niece. Yes. And she's a friend of mine on Facebook. And Is we always she? connect. I she's my sweetheart. That. That's my prayer partner, also. Okay. Now, Sandy said, the sound, sound is okay. I didn't lose it. Good. And um, Jessica says it's back on. And Ron, S-E-L-I-X. Hi, Marcy. Ron Francis. Selick. He said, we Hi. play together in our, in our choir, in Center of Peace Choir. Okay. And well, actually, that's uh, Diane Brown, my best friend's um, cousin. 
Now, Marcy, do you have um, you have a fan base? How do you stay connected to your fan base? Um, they just call me because I'm a telephone person. <laughs> I'm a telephone person, and I run into a lot of people since I've been on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, and Jan Jeffrey, she's really good with the computer. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people come through her as well, and they get in touch with me as well. Because I'm just learning about the, the new age stuff here. Okay. Yes. Well, um, so you have time. What is your day like? I mean, because... My all... day like is what I do during the day. I work with children. I work at the uh, James Rhodes School. Mm -hmm. teaching children how to love themselves through percussion with Jan Jeffries and myself. Mm -hmm. um, we work, we've been there for quite a few years and also we were honored touching 28,000 children all over the city of Philadelphia in the Delaware Valley area. Okay. And um, it's just wonderful and the ages are like from from 7 to 12 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really a, a nice task that God is putting us to do because these children need a lot, a lot of help and a lot of love mm -hmm. along with their parents. Yeah. And also I work in a baby, a baby's theater called Baby Word Play mm -hmm. along with Pam, Pamela Groves. Mm -hmm. And um, that's at 23rd and South. And one theater is there and the other theater is at 20th and Brandywine. So basically working with children and babies has been a wonderful lifetime with me and also playing bass in church I play in the Center of Peace and then I play in uh, Center for Conscious Living in Morristown mm -hmm. New Jersey mm -hmm. so that's what's been keeping me busy yeah you're really really yeah. busy do you uh, do you think you can play something for us you would like to play bass? a little yeah. something, let's, let's on hear bass? something on the bass okay Mm. All right. Are and you know what up? I you know what I forgot to do while I'm setting up. What I forgot to say where I started playing bass. I started playing bass with Diane Brown, mm -hmm. which she's a blues singer. Diane it was Diane Ben Brown, and we used to play blues. And when my friend gave me a bass, because I used to sing, we were a doo-wop group, <laughs> and and she would always play. Uh, yes. Don't let the the bluegrass uh, fool you. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I started playing. No, the green grass, grass food. Yeah. Yes. And next thing you know, I, she said, come on, pick up that bass, because my friend Elaine gave me a bass, and I just started playing three notes. And Got it together, right? Uh-oh. Yes. Let's go. Okay. So um, <laughs> Diane Brown has been a very good instrument of me singing and playing. And that's also when we chaperone Michael Jackson and uh, the emotions, um, Purvis Staples of the Staples Singers was the one that called uh, Diane and I and said, listen, we have some young uh, friends this coming in. Wonderful. Some Isn't young friends wonderful? coming into Philly and I want you to look out because Michael, he's a little he's a little something else. You look out for him and I did. And he used to, I used to make faces and he used to call me, you look like the pretty pig meat Markham because I used to turn my lips upside down. And that's how he used to talk. You remind me of the pig meat bark. I mean, I make faces and powder his little nose and everything. Oh, so that was a, a great history. that was a great opportunity to work. be. You're the first with, rapper. <laughs> yes, that was a great opportunity to play and to see uh, the Jackson Five and watch them grow. Okay. Well, let me get it together now because my sleeve and everything here. Get Miss Ladyfingers out here. Miss Ladyfingers need to come back out, y'all. She just bring turned. Back. Bring her back. Bring her She's out. Back. Okay. Mm. I made up the words. I'm a sweet, sweet lady. And I don't do nothing shady. I owe people walking around. Uh, Oh, with their pants hanging down. You gotta get in the light, the light. Do, 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 get right. Do, 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 do. Whoa, this is me. Do you wanna create this heaven here on earth? You gotta eat right. And think right too. The power is within you. Stay in touch with the Creator for you and me, and we'll see 
the light. Oh, the light, y'all, is within you, just like me. Do you want to create this heaven here on earth? Come on, y'all. You gotta heat right and think right too. The power is within you. I said the power of love is within you. Woo! My daddy let me know I had what it takes to be a real big star, yeah. yeah, yeah. They call me Miss Ladyfinger. That's my name. Oh, Miss Ladyfinger. I'm going to play my way to fortune and fame. Sponsored by Butch Ingram, CEO of Society Hill Records, and he's located in Voorhees, New Jersey. Thank you, Butch, for sponsoring this portion of our show. Now we're going to continue, and um, I want to find out about the Shakeray, okay? And yes. how did you get into playing the Shakeray? The Shakeray. Yes. Well. Uh, let me tell you before that. Okay. When I when I had um, when I left Better Days, I had a serious car accident. I had my face crushed and all the organs knocked out and all these different things mm. going on. So that's when I really know about restoring. And as they say, who is the healer? Reaching on up to the Holy Spirit to use me as an instrument of healing. I got my sight back. And I studied massage for many years. Matter of fact, I was doing massage from as a little girl because being with my mom as a prayer warrior, uh, we would go from house to house and touch people. To make that long story short, when I started going back into my healing, I got back into massage and taking care of myself and joined this group called uh, Dr. Kayeen. And from that, doing massage, I was back in the business working at the Y doing uh, massage therapy. Mm -hmm. So it was a friend of mine had referred a friend who had head injury, and her name was, is Omomola Iabumi. She came to me for treatments, and I was giving her treatments. Then finally something came up with her. She had a call to do Philadelphia's Africa's Parade, and she needed a bunch of women to um, be Shaker Ray players. So she asked me if I could be the vocalist in the play Shaker Ray. I said, oh, no, I don't think I could do that. I'd had my knee crushed. I won't be able to walk and go on through those things. When she gave me the shake array, and she, I said, yes, I would like to learn how to play the shake array. So a moment I taught me how to play the shake array. And then I started using it as my instrument of, of restoring. Okay. And that's how, and I, like I said, I've had head, serious head injury, so a nerve damage, so my timing Still, I'm still working on my timing. That's why I called Jan Jeffries, my doctor, because she's my drummer, and she teaches me how to stay on focus and on point. Thank God for Jan Jeffries. Mm -hmm. So getting back into the shake array. So learning the shake array and then uh, did that parade with Amomala, and we kept on going. I started going to her classes. So I said, you know, I could show you sisters how to sing, and we can be a group. And next thing you know, group, right? next thing you know, the <laughs> Women's Shake Array Ensemble yeah. were together. Yeah. And that was uh, back in 1988 we started, in 89. And the Women's Shake Array Ensemble were still together, Momolai and I together. And now we have a member of, we call her Osset, or either Ida Suka, she's playing with us. And um, that's how I am in touch with the Shake Array. Along with the Shake Array, when you take the beads off of it, it's a gourd, a gourd from the, the calab or either you can call it a calabash or a squash. And just, it's in the pumpkin and squash family. So I started mm -hmm. playing just the gourd, and it has a tone. And next thing you know, I found out each gourd has a tone, has a, a musical note. 
So by me going through uh, my healing is doing chakra healing. Chakra to every energy part of my body. That's what I pray to each and every day. This is why I wear a lot of colors. Because there's a musical note to every part of the chakras. Mm -hmm. the, the tailbone is red. The color is, is red. The musical note is C. Uh, the navel is orange. It's D. The uh, solar plexus is E. That's yellow. The heart is green. The throat is sky blue. It's G. The third eye is, is um, A, indigo. And the crown is purple. And uh, as you can see, that we are an orchestra inside. And I find that the octave is C, and that's up to the heavens, to the Holy Spirit. And that's how I've been surviving. And Jan uh, Jeffries yes. and I, we've been doing healing drumming circles, which we call it a restoring circle, mm -hmm. which we just did a uh, restoring circle, drum circle, Saturday at the CEC at 3500 Lancaster Avenue, where we'll be having some circles there. Also, along with the Shakery and Gourd, I have sister circles mm -hmm. and how to really take care of yourself, how to eat body, mind, and spirit. And that's what this shaker ray has been doing for me, is keeping me on in touch. And also my shaker ray, I had a, a my other shaker ray teacher is Baba Ishangi. Baba Ishangi was the one who taught me how to entertain with my shaker ray. Omomala Iabumi showed me how to play correctly with the shaker ray. Baba Ishangi showed me how to play with my knees, my ankles, my whatever, oh, wow. just throwing yes. it up and having a ball and having mm. the people to feel the goodness of joy coming from me, hmm. from the almighty I am presence. So how do you work that in with your busy schedule? Well, that's that's <laughs> my medicine. That's the first thing in the morning I do. That's you the first thing. That's the first thing, first thing up, in the morning. The first thing yes. Do. I should have bought, bought a gourd to show you what I do with a gourd mm -hmm. because the gourd is a beautiful sound. And when you're doing when you're doing an affirmation with it and you can hear the tones coming from it, and that's from Mother Earth. Mother Earth is saying, Everybody, let's wake up. Wake <laughs> up. Get in touch with yourself. Mm -hmm. Love yourself. Love each other. Be still and know that love is within you. Mm. Yes. And you're a member of a woman's drumming group? And yes, now mm. I am a member music of... Music Over Matter? Music okay. Over Matter. Uh -huh. Jan Jeffries, like I said, that's my doctor in rhythm. She's the rhythm speaker. Matter of fact, she was awarded by the Moorish American, uh, the Moorish. She's just an excellent drummer. She plays also with um, Sharon Katz, who's over in, in, uh, in South Africa. So I have to say back to Jan Jeffries. Mm. She is orchestrating a wonderful group called Music Over Matter, which you can call it Mom. And the members is Karen Ryan, Ida Suka, which we call it Osset, mm -hmm. uh, Pierre Nix, um, Fabumi, and I could say Francis Rose is a part of us, and Autumn, and Marilyn, Marlin, I think it is. So Jan has been doing a beautiful job with us. We just performed a couple of Mondays ago at a studio called um, the Boom, the Boom Room, mm -hmm. and um, we're doing some really wonderful things with children and families, mm -hmm. bringing the love with, through the drumming. Now, how does that performance go? I mean. You, you have an audience, I know you have an audience out there, but tell me about how, how that's together. Well, Jan teaches us how to play the June June drums. Okay. And she plays okay. the djembe. Okay. And she gives us beautiful mixtures of rhythms. Is it singing? It's actually, no, it's no singing. The sing, yes, the singing is coming from the drums. Okay. We're, okay. We don't do the singing. The, okay. the singing is coming from the drums. It's amazing how she puts the drumming together mm -hmm. because you'll start hearing voices coming all over the place. It's beautiful. And that is a wonderful feeling. And then I may come up and play a shake array, sing a little bit of something, something, and go back to my drum. Now, I remember, was it last year? Um, I went to um, one of your affairs and you did the shake array there. You had the shake array there. Mm -hmm. You had all the colors and everything. Oh, that's when I did the gourd meditation at the at a yoga at Ida's yoga mm -hmm. program. And, and that uh, was that was really fantastic. Yes. I enjoyed that. And and mainly that uh, it's really 
wonderful with the yoga because they're in touch with the chakras. Mm -hmm. So that's really profound for the people who do yoga. They can really get into where I'm coming from through the mm -hmm. chakra healing and sounds. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, now you, what do you, well before I go there, I want to go back and talk to you a little more about your CD. Can I go back? Yes. Okay. Now, you're in the process of, of recording a CD. Are you um, one of the songwriters or the songwriter on I'm, the CD? I'm one of them, yes. You're one of them? And, and you have collaborated with? With Valerie Sims. With Valerie Sims? Yes. Okay. And this CD is a composite of what type of music? Inspirational music. Inspirational music. Yes, message music. It's mes message. Yes. Okay. And so now this CD is being produced by? Actually, we are in the mix of it now. You're in the mix of yes. the CD? Yes. Okay. Um, would you be interested in hearing some of my material for your CD? I would love this to. This is Facebook. I would love to, yes, because I love to do some collaboration with you as well. Okay. Because we have... Um, we have, uh, we've been doing inspirational music, Gil Renard, for the past five years. And we have a lot of stuff. So when, when I know that an artist is doing a new CD, I always try to give them a plug to listen to some of our, our music. Okay? Yes, that All sounds right. great. Isn't that good, good? I'm looking forward to it. And you know what's so yeah. beautiful about this, too? Mm -hmm. Today I'm so glad that um, we're, we're here together today because this is a new moon. Mm -hmm. And being in a new moon is new beginnings new thoughts, new good vibrations, and I thank you and Gil for this wonderful evening. Oh, and we thank you. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you. Go ahead. Trina, yes. Trina, Trina just uh, fired a question in. She, she said, can I ask her to give a brief overview of Marcy's group? The Shaker Ray? So I have a lot of friends that just joined me already. Uh, the Shake Array? Which group? Which group, right? Yeah. <laughs> just get in touch with Miss Marcy, because Miss Marcy stays busy with her. Mm -hmm. Between I do um, African music because the um, the women shake array ensemble we do Nigerian music West African music mm -hmm. and that's with the mm -hmm. shake array and um, with Jan's group we're doing drumming and mm. Jan has expanded her group by adding uh, Bert Smith on bass and his brother. So um, she would just have to get in touch with Miss Marcy or Jan Jeffries to see which way and what we're doing because I do quite a few things. And plus working with babies and children. We also work in senior homes also. Mm -hmm. And I sing gospel mm -hmm. with the seniors. So okay. it's a lot that I do. At 75 years old, I keep on moving. Yes, yes. And I keep God on praying and bringing you. love. And keep it positive. And I, I mean, you've met so many people. I mean, yes. uh, um, it's just... And you shared your gift with so many others. Yes. And they have shared their gifts with you. Yes. And I'm repeating something like, may God, may God be the glory. And that came from my friend that just tuned in, Johnny Croom. Hey, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Okay. Johnny Croom just to, uh, joined in. LaVon, Donnie Tatum. Hi, LaVon. Now, I think it was your birthday, too. I think you just had a birthday. Happy birthday. Roosevelt, uh, Rose Walker, thank you for joining in. I'm trying to get the ones that I didn't get to before. But I want to thank you all for your support for the Indie Show, and es especially your support for Marcy Francis. She's, she's been around a long time and played with so many people. She's like a history book. Yes. And I want you to just sit back and enjoy the rest of the interview. Now... Your plans for the future. My plans for the future. Mm -hmm. My plans for the future is to have a wonderful, a wonderful life with a good, conscious-minded musicians, okay. so we can go back out on the road. <laughs> <laughs> go back on the road. Yes, yes. and send love, mm -hmm. and also um, to do my healing retreats in the islands. I'll say Jamaica, mm -hmm. and that's what I do. I'll be going this summer. Uh, we do healing retreats in Jamaica. Okay. How to take care of yourself. Okay. And what words do you have for the younger generation who may be 
um, thinking about amazing. getting to me to follow and following into your footsteps. Mm -hmm. yes. Here we uh -oh. go. <laughs> I can, I'm, I'm going to remember this. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying to my children, mm -hmm. stay focused, stay positive, stay true to yourself musically, and love yourself. And pump, pump, pump up the love where are you are, wherever you are. Mm, mm, pump mm, up mm. the love. Are you going to be uh, performing anywhere in, around the Philadelphia area? Well, I mean, how I can see. we see you? How, uh, how can I, we you see know you? what? I, I'm getting ready to put that out. I'm not even going to say where I'm performing right now because it's still in the mix. Um, it's going to be a surprise. That's why I'm not going to say anything. I'm surprising. It's going to, and then you'll know, and then you can put it out for me. Yeah, because we want to, yes. we want to come and see you. Yes. I mean, just stand with that bass. Yes. And I say, look at Marcy. We want to, you know, we want to come here and we want to see that. We want to hear you play bass. Yes, I have some great opportunities uh, that is um, uh, waiting for me. Just like you've been waiting over a year for me, oh, and that's I'm a answering shame. to that's the, a shame. I know I'm <laughs> answering to the calls that I have been invited to play. Okay. So, um, yes, real soon. Soon come. Okay, you want to you wanna do something for us on, with the shake array? With the shake array? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, this is, this is, um, it's called like a 6-8, and this is what I've done with the 6-8. I am a child of love now. I am a child of love now. I am a child of peace now. I am a child of light now. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. These are the affirmations of what I do. We are ordinary people. We come from so many places. We have got to stick together. And make a change, and make a change, let's make a change, come along, everybody come along, let's sing, and be happy, I'm going to West Africa, I da, hey, most they say ho, oh. I da, they most they say ho, oh. they most they say sa, say sa, so ho. Oh. They must be said, I say, I say, oh, I had a oh, hey, I hope, I had a oh, hey, I hope, I had a oh, hey, I hope, I put love before you, put love behind you, put love to the left of you, put love to the right of you, put love above you, put love up below you. Put love within you. Put love all around you. Come on, pump, pump, pump the love. Come on, pump, pump, pump the love. Come on, pump, pump, pump the love. Come on, pump, pump. All over the world. Send love to Washington, D.C. Send it all over the world. Send it love all over the world. That's all I know is love, 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 love. Yep. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Marcy, so very much. That was Thank great. You. So that was great. And you're so talented. Thank you. You are really, really talented. Give thanks to the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you it got It is to. not me, yeah. my sister. Yeah. It, it, and I understand an that. I yes. understand that. And last last week, our, our guest, um, um, Johnny Croom. I love um, him. I would was, like to connect with Johnny Croom's and do well, some Well, I'm sure he together. would want to connect with you. And he's such a great person. And yes, he is. He was given all the glory to God. He said yes. he had nothing to do with his success, his career. It was all... He don't even know how it happened. I know. I'm, <laughs> you know? I'm just so proud of him because I remember when I used to be on the stage at the Hollywood Palace, he was little young boy looking up at me. Now he's all over the place. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> okay, so proud. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm going to give you, uh, you have the next minute just to talk to the audience because Gilbert is getting ready to give me the five-minute clue. Yes. Okay, so go ahead. So I'm going to talk to the audience. What am I saying? And you're going to tell them about your goals, right? And you're going to tell them how much you appreciate them and all that. I that really stuff. appreciate Talk to your fans. I really appreciate all my fans, my supporters. 
for giving me the good boost that I need. All right. All right. Um, okay. I just want to just thank my family, my sister, Esther, and, and Jeannie, Denise, and my favorite friend. Oh, should I? They're all my favorite, all my nieces and nephews. And I just want to thank um, Lynn for giving me such a beautiful birthday Christmas present. I am going to the Gerald Beasley's Base Boot Camp okay. the 15th of March. And this is my seventh year with them. I, they call me the queen of the base boot camp. <laughs> and uh, my goal this year is to have a fantastic concert. That's my goal, is a fantastic concert, a beautiful workshop on how to take care of yourself, because that's what I do. I also um, do wonderful um, shows with um, Dr. Sebi, his wife. We've traveled and we talked about my life story on how I've been surviving, surviving mm -hmm. through, um, through drumming, eating, all the things that I do. That's why I'm just so grateful to my family and my friends. And most of all, my brother, Kenny. Kenny Francis is my photographer, and he's my everything. Okay. And um, I don't want to leave anyone out, so it's everybody, everybody, all my nieces and nephews. I just love you all, and mm -hmm. I thank you for the support. And also, my favorite friends and my kitties. Mm -hmm. I'm a cat lady. I take care of the cats on the block. And I have one cat <laughs> called Scarcity, and he's been on my, my porch for 26 years. And he still looks good. Okay. So that's, um, that's what I want to do, is just continue to, to share the love wherever I am, with whoever that's with me that's performing, whatever I do. I'm very grateful. I give grateful to the Most High God, I just give thanks. And okay. so it is. And then the indie show uh, brings to you each week a variety of, of, of guests and artists who has been in the music business for years and years. And this platform lets them talk about their, uh, their past and let them, lets them share with us where they're going in the future. They're traveling through their musical journey. And this gives you, um, the audience, a chance to see all the historical people that's here in Philadelphia, all the things they've been through, and how they contribute um, in the music industry. Because sometimes we don't know what these people have done. This is a platform for you to see and hear yes. what they have done and travel with them. I want you to go to uh, Marcy's Facebook page and follow Marcy. Follow her and support her in her musical journey and her endeavors that um, she has for the future. This part, this portion of the indie show was sponsored by Nina Capone, and she's CEO of Small Business and Artist Development Services, and she's located in Yaden. She works um, with an artist, trying, you know, developing them and giving them different clues and different tricks of how they can, what they can do to be a better artist. So if you need any kind of support that way, she's available. If you're a small business owner and you need some assistance there, she's available. She's located in Yaden and she can be reached at 215-909. 5016. And again, the past portion was uh, sponsored by my dear friend Butch Ingram of Society Hill Records, located in Voorhees, New Jersey. He's still working hard. He's producing some of the greatest artists from the past and bringing them back into the future. And we want to give him a shout out and thank you for your support. Next week on the Indie Show, we have our favorite sax player, Sam Peake. He will be <laughs> Yes. Nice. He will be here next week. Yeah. And I'm excited that he's going to be here. And he's excited that he's going to be here. Uh, I talked to him yesterday, and he's really excited. So I've been trying to get him here a long time. So finally, I'm getting Sam Peake. So we, um, we want you to join us next week for Sam Peake. And tomorrow, we have another show. And tomorrow, our guest is going to be Tony Jones. Good friend he's of mine. He's one of the baddest bass players, yeah. too. Yes. And he's traveled mm -hmm. all over the, the world. world. Okay? 
And he's going to be here tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Um, that's Thursday tomorrow. It's March 7th. So join in, tune in, and let's go, go through his musical history. I want to say thank you to Facebook family and friends, and thanks to our producer, Gilbert Lomax Jr. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Gilbert. Thank, thank you. you. And follow me on the Doris Hall James uh, Facebook page. Follow me. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check me out. Check me out on Instagram. Check out my web page. Okay? This is a platform for you. Send us some. Um, you can send us some recommendations of who you want to see, who, who you would like to appear on our show. And Facebook fans and friends, Thank you for joining us and supporting us.